Stuttgart following Scotland football and also Stuttgart following beautiful cars. We're at the Mercedes-Benz Museum. I've got to coax them in. You're getting in on a pensioner's rate. Yeah. yeah. I'm all for it. Pensioner's uh, bus pass rate. Actually slightly looking forward to it, but we'll see what pans out. We're going to have a great time. We're in Stuttgart. We're at the Mercedes-Benz Museum. There was all sorts of transport that you had to take in the 1800s, long before the first motor car. Um, paddle steamers, there were trains, mm -hmm. horses as well. Um, but as you can see, uh, Hugh, growing up in Possel, what was it like when you got your first Mercedes-Benz car? This looks very, very much like, of course, we didn't we didn't even have clogs and cross on our main cars, but this looks very much like my first pool car in the Herald office. <laughs> where we got one penny a mile yeah. and you can tell, see going up the old back road through Ochterarda for a wee good trip at Pataudry, it was uh, it was quite the journey in one of those Peter. Yeah, some expenses if you're paying for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, 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 the magnificent thing about this Mercedes Benz Museum in first shot is the amount of money they've thrown at it, it's quite spectacular. Uh, the way it's presented, the, the way the story's been told. And these, these uh, early machines are, are just remarkable, Peter. Yeah, Even absolutely. for somebody who's not a great car fan, it's just remarkable pieces of history. Well, I seem to remember it was like 16 euros to get in mm -hmm. for most people, and I think it's well worth it because if we're starting off at the early, early Mercedes-Benz, wait till we get to the end of it when you see the future uh, of Mercedes-Benz. This is a, it's a brilliant place, but well worth a visit to Stuttgart. If you're not going to football, why not go to cars? I normally have no interest in cars whatsoever, except when I, they have to be serviced and I worry about the, the repair costs. But who could fail to fall in love with this piece of art, engineering, style, class? It's a 1936 Roadster, absolutely beautiful. Just showing how German style, art, engineering and design has combined to produce this Wonderful Marvel. Okay, tell me, which Mercedes-Benz would I like to own? Well, there's only one. This car was released in 1954. It is the 300 SL Gullwing. One of them sold in America for just under $5 million. It is absolutely unbelievable. The Gullwing, not to 60 in about nine seconds, but apart from anything else, never mind the speed, when you get out of this car, it just screamed out to everybody that you had money and you had style. And the good thing is, you usually only had one mate alongside you in the car. Have a look at this beauty. I would love one of these. Anybody out there who has a spare one, please phone me now. I don't know about you, Hugh, but the SL series at Mercedes is absolutely the style that I love. Going from the 60s into the 70s, this 230 SL, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, I only like cars where there's two seats in it. This is <laughs> the, magnificent, isn't it? The thing about it to me is, this is, you're now moving into my era. This is, this is my lifetime now. 60s and 70s, it's the, 
the idea of you didn't see many of these in uh, Postle or Busby, <laughs> but you did see them in, uh, in, in the glamour profiles in the newspapers and, and how Mercedes had become the great glamour band. Yeah, can I just tell you something, Hugh? You didn't see them in Motherwell either, I no. can tell you. Beautiful though. I'm going to let you in a wee secret. Oh, I mean, it's a Mercedes Benz 190E. I bought this cheap and my wife told me to sell it within two weeks. She hated it. It's the only part of this whole museum where I've got a bit of nostalgia. I liked it, it was comfortable. She didn't. This is it, Hugh. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost at the end. When you think of German engineering, you think of efficiency. Certainly Mercedes, you think of innovation. We've gone through the 20th century. We've gone through the 21st century. In fact, I think we actually went back to the 19th it's century started, all the way yeah. at the start of it. Mm -hmm. um, have I converted you to loving cars and museums? No, not really. <laughs> but I mean, I always loved museums and I've always been interested in, in you know, I'm always interested in what interests other people. And I think I can see why people think these items, for want of a better word, are things of art and beauty. This is a design genius here. The museum itself has been designed brilliantly. The placement of the cars, you can't fail to be wowed by the, the cars here, Peter. You don't have to be a car fan to love what's on offer here. Yeah, and as we've gone through the revolution, the industrial revolution, mm. and of course the creativity of Mercedes-Benz, uh, we finished Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Coupe. It's the electric car, 155 miles an hour, 155 mile or so range. There will come a time when Mercedes will be innovative again and push it to 300 to 400 miles that you can travel in an electric car. But this trip through history is well worth it. The Mercedes-Benz oh. Museum in Stuttgart. I'd come back again, Hugh. So would that, and I think the most important thing is to say to anybody that's wavering is that this is not just a museum of cars, it's a museum of history and culture and human progress. It really is a fantastic piece of work.